Four Heavens on the Go, Sunday, April 16th, 2023. Topic, Destiny Destroyers, Talkativeness. Memory Verse, Proverbs 21, 23. Whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue, keepeth his soul from troubles. Bible reading, 2 Samuel 1, 1 to 16. Now it came to pass after the death of Saul, when David was returned from the slaughter of the Amalekites, and David had abode two days in Ziklag. It came even to pass on the third day that, behold, a man came out of the camp from Saul with his clothes rent, and earth upon his head. And so it was, when he came to David, that he fell to the earth and did obeisance. And David said unto him, From whence comest thou? And he said unto him, Out of the camp of Israel am I escaped. And David said unto him, How went the matter? I pray thee, tell me. And he answered, that the people are fled from the battle, and many of the people also are fallen and dead, and Saul and Jonathan his son are dead also. And David said unto the young man that told him, How knowest thou that Saul and Jonathan his son be dead? And the young man that told him said, As I happened by chance upon Mount Gilboa, behold, Saul leaned upon his spear, and lo, the chariots and horsemen followed hard after him. And when he looked behind him, he saw me and called unto me. And I answered, Here am I. And he said unto me, Who art thou? And I answered him, I am an Amalekite. He said unto me again, Stand, I pray thee, upon me, and slay me. For anguish is come upon me, because my life is yet whole in me. So I stood upon him and slew him, because I was sure that he could not live after that he was fallen. And I took the crown that was upon his head, and the bracelet that was on his arm, and have brought them hither unto my Lord. Then David took hold of his clothes, and rent them, and likewise all the men that were with him. And they mourned, and wept, and fasted until even for Saul, and for Jonathan his son, and for the people of the Lord, and for the house of Israel, because they were fallen by the sword. And David said unto the young man that told him, Whence art thou? And he answered, I am the son of a stranger and a Malachite. And David said unto him, How was thou not afraid to stretch for thy hand to destroy the Lord's anointed? And David called one of the young men and said, Go near and fall upon him. And he smote him that he died. And David said unto him, Thy blood be upon thy head, for thy mouth hath testified against thee, saying, I have slain the Lord's anointed. The message. If you cannot control your tongue, it is only a matter of time before you talk yourself into destruction. Hidden behind the need to always talk is the need to be noticed the need to get everyone's attention, and that alone is enough to destroy anyone. In today's text, we read about the young man who just wanted to get unnecessary attention. He formulated a story that he thought would impress David, telling him that he had killed Saul, not knowing that his quest for attention will be his undoing. Second Samuel 1.16 says, And David said unto him, Thy blood 
be upon thy head. For thy mouth had testified against thee, saying, I have slain the Lord's anointed. Believe me honestly, the less you talk, the better for you, because everything you are saying is being recorded and will be played back on the day of judgment. Jesus Christ said in Matthew 12, 36, But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. I was at a meeting with some big men of God, and there was one fellow there who talked and talked so to such an extent that I said, Sir, you think you know more than every one of us? If you would just keep quiet, you might learn something. Wise people listen more than they speak because they know that the more they understand, the better the value of what they say. James 1.19 says that you must be quick to hear and slow to speak. In the multitude of words, they are wanted not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. Proverbs 10.19 Controlling your tongue is a major key to living holy. May your tongue not take you to hell in Jesus' name. Prayer point. Father, please give me the grace to control my tongue at all times in Jesus' name. Father, please give me the grace to control my tongue at all times in Jesus' name. Bible reading in one year. 1 Kings 19 to 20. Him for today, when we walk with the Lord. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.